Hey, what's up everybody? This is Kincaid from Push, and today I'm going to teach you how to do a method on your snowboard. Every snowboarder needs to have a good method. It really is like a rite of passage that earns you respect and acceptance in the snowboard community, and you've gotta have it. It's a pretty signature trick that everyone loves to watch, and there's not a whole lot better than just cranking out a method on a massive booter and holding it just until you land. A good method does take quite a bit of time and practice to dial in. I'm sure you've all heard the expression, you can't teach style, you've just gotta learn it. And the method is purely a style trick, so while you might get them at first, they're gonna take you a while to really be cranking out. But with that said, let's dive right into the technique of how to do a method so that you can be cranking them out super big as soon as possible. To do a method, you really just need to be comfortable on your board and comfortable hitting jumps. So as you approach a jump to do your first method, approach totally flat based. You can obviously take a carve in or be on an edge up until the takeoff, but as you're about to leave that lip, I like to be flat based for a method. So the way a method works is that your feet go one way and your torso goes the other, and that's what allows you to bring it back to forwards at the end of the trick. Obviously, if you're turning your entire body 90 degrees, you're not really gonna be able to bring it back at the end. So how a method works is you're kind of turning your feet 90 degrees as well as kicking them up while your torso and back arm are turned as far as they can towards your landing the other way. So as a goofy rider, my legs are spinning to the left while my torso is spinning to the right. And that allows me to get that counter motion when I want to bring the method back down. So when you see videos of guys doing methods or see them in person, that's why your arm is up like that. Because when you bring your arm back down and behind you, that allows that counter motion to bring your feet back the other way as well. So think about it as your feet pivoting 90 degrees, but they're not doing a straight 90. They're coming up behind you as you do that. Behind you or in front of you, however you want to look at it. Your feet are getting kicked up. So one huge mistake I see beginners trying to learn methods do is simply doing the grab without that turn of your torso and your board. So I see a lot of people kick their board up straight behind them to where you're still going parallel with your landing and your board is simply kicked behind you and you're grabbing it. So your whole body would be straight, but your knees are at a 90 degree angle. Unfortunately, I don't have a video of this mistake, but picture yourself just doing a straight air, bending your knees 90 degrees so that your board comes up behind you and grabbing melon. That is the biggest mistake you can do in trying to learn a method because that teaches you nothing about the proper motion. It's way better to start learning by trying to turn your torso and your board in opposite directions and get that feeling of bringing it back under you. You can start really small and that's why I say methods take a while to learn. You can turn your board just a little bit, you know, just 45 to start and then bringing it back. Like it doesn't have to be proper your first try, but definitely focus on getting your torso turning one way and your board and legs turning the other. Because if you get into the habit of just kicking it up behind you and grabbing your board, that's not teaching you anything about the proper technique and you're really not getting any closer to learning a proper method. So definitely try to avoid that and focus on what I've talked about on getting that counter motion. Now when you do a method, I've always learned that it's proper to have your hand between the bindings on your back edge. You'll see some pros and some guys who can crank out real big methods grabbing closer to the nose and it's just kind of a different style. So really whatever you prefer, I do prefer between the bindings. I think it's a little bit more proper. So you're in the air, you've got your method all kicked out and it's time to bring it back down. You're approaching the landing. This really is the easy part if you brought your method out properly. Really all you do at this point is pivot your torso back to straight and your legs back to straight kind of simultaneously and everything will come together. You'll ride away smooth and the girl watching from the chairlift is going to want your number. Best of luck with this trick. Leave me a comment if you have any questions and I will be back very soon with more tutorials.